Happy New Year, it is 2019, which means it is a perfect time to set yourself some new goals for this year, and I talk today about how to get started. How's it going? I'm Will from Iron Will Multisport Australia, your place to find tips, tricks and experience in triathlons, multisport and endurance events and training. In 2014, I set myself a goal to complete an Ironman 70.3. That gave me loads of motivation, it started me training, I was doing really well. But then throughout the year I ran a half marathon distance due to my bad running style, I managed to get myself IT band syndrome which unfortunately pulled me out of the race. And so I had to delay my 2014 goal for a couple of years while I got myself better and fixed my running style. Now my initial idea that year was to set the goal to complete the Ironman 70.3 and that was a great goal, that was a great idea. I started training, I started planning, it was really good for me for that year. Making a start at something is already in itself a success. I mean, the only true way to fail at something, the only true way to not achieve something is to never start. So you've got to set yourself those goals from the beginning. So the saying goes, you miss 100% of the shots you never take. Obviously, if you don't even try and achieve something, you're never going to achieve that something. I mean, even if you don't achieve your goal, you've still started, you've still tried, you've had the goal there and you've attempted to get there. And this can make it easier to achieve that goal later since you now know how to start. Maybe you know something that you did wrong, something that you can fix for next time. Maybe there's a different way of achieving that same goal. Have you had to put off or postpone goals before? Let us know in the comments below. In 2017, I gave running another go and I managed to find a way that I could run where I injured myself a lot less. Towards the start of 2018, I set myself a goal of achieving my Ironman 70.3. So my half Ironman achievement from 2014 was going to be achieved in 2018. The goal was to try and achieve it before I turned 30. So my ideal event was the Ironman 70.3 Western Sydney. And I did it. I managed to achieve my 2018 goal. The first step is the hardest and it's always the easiest to actually put off. So you want to make sure that you try and make it as soon as possible and as solidified as possible. It's so easy to say tomorrow, next week, next month, whatever. But tomorrow becomes the next day, next week becomes the next week, the next month becomes the next year. So start right now. Make that first step. Commit to a goal. Write it down somewhere. Put it on your wall. So that's one thing. When you make something physical, when you get it out of your mind, it then becomes a lot more real. Things always seem impossible until they're achieved and then they seem too easy. So it doesn't matter if your goal is a really hard goal to achieve, it's the setting of that goal that is the main achievement in itself. Your act of doing something, even just simply starting something, can inspire yourself and, conspire and inspire others to achieve greater and greater things as everyone sees your efforts as an inspiration, including yourself. I mean, just look at the last few hours of people completing a full Ironman in the dark hours of the night. That's the people who get the greatest applause. Those are the people who have persisted and kept going through and through. They're in pain, but they want to achieve that goal. They want to get to that end. You will fail multiple times. That's an inevitable truth but you learn through your failures. You know, don't let failure distract you from your end goals. You won't finish 100% of your exercises, you won't achieve 100% of your goal times, and you won't eat perfect every day. We are human. One way you can help yourself to kind of internally understand this is to, instead of looking at how far you have to go, look at how far you've come. So for 2019, my main goals, uh, my triathlon goals, I wanna make sure that I complete the full Ironman. For my half Ironman goals, I want to try and beat my time from last year, so I want to get under five hours. And then I've got my channel goals for here. So I want to make sure that I keep creating great content and help inspire and educate and encourage all of you out there to set yourself goals and achieve those goals too. What are your goals for 2019? Leave a comment in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button so I can keep creating awesome triathlon content for you. And I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.